Cool. All right. Let's see who we have on board. Nice. Okay. Uh, one more. I got somebody named Super Tech. I love it. I don't see Chase's name yet, so it could be him. I don't know. <sighs> okay, I see Karima. Karima's here. Uh, I see Josh. Josh is here. Uh, Carlos is here. William. William Lewis. Shortly. Joaquin is here. I think uh, Joaquin, Super I see Tech is well. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that's uh, me. Tommy's here. And then I've got... Luis is here. And uh, Chase, are you super tech? No, that's me. Oh, that's Luis. William? Still, yeah. Okay, William. Yeah, William's me. here. So Chase is the one that's missing so far. Okay. I'm sending you the link right now. It'll be, it'll be on in a second. That's fine. Perfect. Thanks for letting me know. Well, welcome. Uh, we have uh, Nabil joining us. Nabil. Hi. So everybody who is here, say hi to Nabil. Nabil, what's up? Hi. Hey. Hello. So there's Nabil for all of you. Uh, that's great. So Nabil is joining us to bring us uh, up to date on what we can expect with respect to parts and how you get them into your hands. Uh, and so I believe from a discussion that I had with Nabil, earlier today, I'm losing my voice, earlier today, uh, that Thursday, he's going to create, Thursday, yeah, today's Tuesday, so two days from now, he will create a window of opportunity, there's Chase, okay, he'll create a window of opportunity yet to be announced between when and when for you to slide by the campus and be able to pick up your necessary parts. Now, since there's only three teams, we really only need three people to coordinate this with, uh, that would be the builder of the uh, projects. Or if the builder of the project is unable to, then another classmate may be able to pick up those parts and transport it to the builder on their own time and dime. So what I have is uh, the prototype technician would be Tommy, William, and Chase. Yes. So Tommy, yeah. William, and Chase are the three people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tommy, Will, and Chase. So, Nabil, uh, could you give us a heads up on where things stand presently with respect to those parts? Okay. Um, so the items that were ordered from um, from Newark have arrived. They were the uh, they came in today, so we have those. The items from Jameco are not going to be here until Thursday. And uh, what I'm going to do is pick the items up from the facility on Thursday. And what that will do is give us a window of about 2 to 3 p.m. for you guys to come by and pick them up. And since there's only three groups and there's only, which would mean there's only three people coming in. Uh, so how would how we would divide this is uh, we're going to have three boxes with the items inside and we're going to have uh, a lot of time for each representative from the group to come in. And uh, this is what's going to happen uh, for that. You will call me an hour before, so sometime between 1 and 2 p.m. And you'll let me know, uh, well, I'll ask you three questions. And you will come into the campus at that uh, appointed time that we talked about. And so um, um, Mr. Ko is going to give you that information shortly. Um, so what will happen is you're going to call me and you're going to let me know that you, uh, I mean, you have to let me know, are you healthy essentially? Are you coughing? Do you have a fever? And do you have shortness of breath? Because if there's any one of those, um, we have to essentially take some precautions and have you come by another time or have somebody else 
pick up the items instead. So uh, let me give you a phone number real quick. The phone number I can give it to them is 510-427-1100. So let me repeat, that's 510-427-1119. Now, Tom, Will, and Chase, do you remember what time you need to call? 2 to 3 p.m.? No, no, oh, you got to listen, you got to listen. One to two. One to two. two. One to two. My, my bad, my bad. Okay, I mean, I, you know, he's going to issue, you know what he's going to issue in addition to parts? He's going to issue Q-tips. <laughs> Very, very nice, very nice. Yes. <laughs> for my ears, yeah. Uh, I, I, I realized that I was at the same time. I'm looking for Nabil's card with his information on it that he gave me a long time ago. So yeah, I apologize for that mistake. No, it, it, I, I, I'm just, I'm just fooling with you. I know. Okay, so, <laughs> okay. so, so the important thing is we do have to abide by these, uh, these policies to the letter. You call between one and two, he has to hear your voice. You can't have your girlfriend, boyfriend calling for you. Oh, I'm calling, this is, this is, this is so-and-so's mom. And he's gonna be, no, he's got to hear your voice because he's gonna be able to determine based on listening to your voice. Are you hacking in the background? Do you have shortness of breath? He can hear some of these things and make a determination. Boom, we need to move this to another day. Okay, because you're not sounding well. So you call between one and two. When you call between one and two, we will go, we'll have you go in at a set time between one and two. You don't just show up when you show up. So who, who, which one of the three is volunteering for the 2 p.m. time slot? Tom, Will, or Chase? I am. I'll volunteer. Okay. Wait, wait, which day is it going to be on, by the way? Thursday, right? Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Day after tomorrow? Ooh, Okay. Cause like I low key got like class from like uh from one thirty to the two thirty, so maybe three would be for me. Uh okay, so Chase will be three p.m. Will will be at two p.m. And Tommy, can we have you there at uh, two thirty? Yeah. Okay. So your appointed times to actually enter the building after you've spoken with Nabil between one and two to get his clearance to go to the building, will be William at two, Tommy at 2.30, Chase at 3 p.m. And when you go, you have to be in proper attire, meaning you have to have your, your, your face mask on. And do they have to be in gloves also, Nabil? Or are you just gonna set it and they're gonna pick it up? If they have gloves, it's preferable, um, but face covering is required. Yeah, face covering is required, and and, and the, it's the reason why the the uh, um, the gloves are are, are uh, wherever I go, I I, I do both. But uh, you know, if you're opening doors, what are you touching with your bare hands unless you're wearing gloves? Okay, uh, so any doors, any levers, anything that you have to open, your hand needs to touch. So I would highly recommend uh, having some latex gloves or some other type of hand covering to protect your hands. Uh, so yes, you have to be appropriately attired with face mask and some kind of hand protection. Any questions as to what you need to, to be dressed up like in order to uh, be on campus? Tommy, William, or Chase? Face coverings and gloves preferred, is, is that all I'm hearing? Face the coverings loss. is face coverings required. It's mandatory, yeah. Okay. Face coverings required. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hand coverings is preferred. Preferred. Any other questions there? Good uh, Nabil, Nabil, can you repeat your number one more time? I have Nabil. Yeah, 510 427 1119. Okay. It's also on the chat so you can see it. In, in case my pronunciation through the microphone is not particularly clear. You can also see the number chat. Uh, Josh typed it in and so did Chase. Oh, I got it, I got it. Okay, so you can see it there. All right, and will they, as of this Thursday, be receiving everything that they put on their lists? Nabil. Sorry, I just got a call, uh, one second. Sure. 
Yeah, when the boss uh, I th- calls. I think, I think it's Chase who's calling me now. Why? Why? Yeah, he's testing it. <laughs> yeah, we would purposely give you a bad number. <laughs> I'm calling this number, but I'm not reaching Nabil. You got the wrong named, number. <laughs> I got somebody named. I got somebody named Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Stop calling here. <laughs> Funny. Good. I confirmed uh, the number works. Thank okay. you, Chase. Thank you, Chase. Thank you, <laughs> You're Chase. a good guy. Yes, I appreciate that. All right. Uh, so back to Nabil, the question was, so on Thursday, will the students be receiving everything that they put on their list that was sent to you so far? Um, so far, it seems like everything will be there. Uh, I'd have to pick up the Jameco order and receive it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that should be everything. If there's something missing, we'll address it at that point. But um, so far, the vendor told me that everything's there. And, and let me share this with you guys. Uh, I've worked with Jameco for, for well over 25 years. They're an incredibly reliable resource. Uh, uh, their prices are, are fair. They're not, they're not on the low end, uh, but they're not gouging us either. And they have pretty good service. But here's the thing. The, Jameco is in Belmont. Belmont is in San Mateo County. San Mateo County is in the peninsula. So our Nabil has to get in his car, leave Hayward, drive across the 92, go up the 101, over to Belmont, get off the correct exit, find his way over to El Camino Real. I believe they're on El Camino. Maybe they moved. And then get to Jameco and sport out with them the parts that, that he needs to bring back. Then he gets back in his car, gets back on the 101, 101 back to 92, 92 back in the Hayward, just for you guys. Now, is that love or is that love? Thanks, Bill. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, I just want to let you know it, it, it is some effort on, on his part to be able to do this uh, on behalf of you guys, and, and it's all out of love. So, everybody say thank you to Nabil. Thank you, Nabil. Thanks, Nabil. Thank Thanks, Bill. Hey, you guys are welcome. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, at this point, then, are there any remaining questions for Nabil before we let him go? I take and healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. Okay. That's always good. <laughs> so Can we get to? to... Mm-hmm. Okay. So so so. Uh, Let's say goodbye to Lit Nabil because he has uh, other uh, responsibilities. He still has yet to attend to the night is young for him as it is for, uh, <laughs> for me. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's got to go take care of the other school business. He's got to take care of and I know that for a fact. So uh, no more questions for Nabil. Thank you very much, Nabil. You and I will be in touch the next day uh, to catch up. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye, Bill. <clears throat> Later. Uh, See you, Nabil. Cool. Okay. All right. So that being said, let's go ahead and just make sure everything is. Uh, we were looking for ePortfolios as our turn in assignment that they needed to be substantively filled in. So let me go to here and go to. Nice, 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 nice. And go to the appropriate links for progress scan portfolio. Okay. So for the E, let me go to here. For the team, Mr. Cabello. So I'm going to go to Mr. Cabello uh, and then go to your portfolio site. I want to go to copy, control C. 
open up this guy and paste. Control V, hit enter. All right. So let's go ahead and <laughs> okay. The moment of truth. All right, on the home page. Purpose is going to be substantively filled in. Okay, what this is about. This is good. And we happen to have a second image. We also have a third image. Very cool. Everybody's looking at my share screen? Roger. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Hypothesis needs to be substantively filled. Hypothesis, good. We happen to have got in touch and project everything that we have in a smart home, but to a, here's the keywords, smaller scale. Very nice. Materials and procedure, this has also got to be substantively filled. So very good. So the placeholders that he had empty last week are now filled in with a number of illustrations. So we see a fan, Arduino, jumper wires, breadboard, cardboard box, aluminum foil, uh, one of the modules. So you'll have these other ones filled in. Uh, is, I'm, uh, I'm waiting for the other parts to come in. So we of can course. take a picture of them. Oh, no, of course. No, the, this, this looks substantive. Good progress on this. Uh, and diagrams. All right, so the diagrams go to show, and this is great. Drawing it out on paper is just perfectly A-OK, -okay because it shows what needs to happen with the different pins, what needs to happen for the different sensors. So he's got a door lock sensor, LEDs over here, uh, Bluetooth, he's got a fan over here, got a lamp, and a relay, and uh, voltage in. So that's what we can tell from here so far. And so this is very good for diagrams. And then presentation, now we won't see anything here until the presentation. Uh, technical aspects, yeah, until you get your parts, this may or may not be here. Analysis and conclusion, you can, you, what you can put in here, since you don't have the conclusion, maybe the questions. And this is good. Each person reflects on what, what went right, what went wrong. Uh, add the door sensor as an afterthought. Uh, after it's built, run, and done, uh, put a, it wouldn't be a forward, but it would be an analysis and a conclusion. So you would change this word out. Forward would be in the front end of your, your documentation. Right. Applications. Yeah, I'm sorry, Josh, you had a comment? What? No. That was an affirmative, okay. And then applications, um, you can start filling this guy out. So work on that. And then work cited, this is very good because each one of these, when, uh, oops, this one's a hot link, this is not. So you need to change uh, your two, your one, two, and four into live links, okay? So if I put my mouse here, it is not a live link. If I put my mouse here, it is not a live link. But for number three and number five, those are live links. So if I go to click on this guy, it will be able to take me to specifically that particular site. But one and two and four need to be made live. Okay, Josh? All right. Okay. All right. So that part looks good. And uh, that's great. So let me come back to here and see how Joaquin is progressing for his team. So here, go to this link. I have a different link to use than that one that we submitted last week or two weeks ago. Oh, uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah, I'll put it in the chat then. Okay, all right, let me go ahead and copy it from the chat. Yeah, because I just had to remake it because it was using the old version of sites. That's perfectly okay. Uh, chat. And I'm covering my chat. Uh, I've definitely covered up my chat. It's underneath all of this. <laughs> uh, 
and minimize this and minimize this. You can hit Alt H for a quick. Oh, thank you. I want to get back here. Alt H. No, I still have it buried. Ah, chat. Here we go. But it's underneath all these windows. <laughs> Case plans. Close this. Oh, I know. Let's just stop share. Okay. Copy it from here. Control C. And go back here and here. And open up a new one and paste. And here. All right, very nice, interesting. So ambient temperature, smart clock, and purpose. Look at this, alarm clock that also contains sensors for ambient temperature and humidity, as well as motion sensor that keeps an alarm activated until motion is detected. Oh, it keeps an alarm activated, okay. And this yeah, some be, of this might change though, depending on what happens with the parts, because we're not quite sure yet, but that's the goal. That's okay. I think yeah. I think we do have the uh, the wave sensor or the uh, the proximity sensor, so we can okay. probably use the motion activation All or right. the motion deactivation. Cool. Uh, I think that that would be yeah, outstanding. Okay, so this page looks great. A hypothesis: what device will accurately measure quality such as humidity, temperature, as well as function? as a standard alarm clock. Okay, okay, all right, all right. I know the last uh, couple of pages didn't have uh, filled out though, like I think diagrams on, just because I wasn't sure how we're gonna, you know, once we start building it, mm -hmm. I don't have a better idea of that. So just up until materials is where it's really filled out, but I have all okay. the title pages. All right, so for materials procedure, so I see the materials, so you do want to, uh, and, and you can keep going down. That's the interesting thing about, about ePortfolio is you add more stuff down below. We can keep scrolling in the downward direction and be able to see more stuff that you add. Uh, so we happen to have this. We happen to have this. So we have the two images here. Okay, that's good. And then the rest of these have to be worked out here. Uh, here, here, here. We're excited. You should have some. Yeah, you should have something in here because your your information for the ambient temperature clock should be at least one, if not several, links. So, what would help you fill this out, Joaquin, and for your team, is uh, all the sensors. Each sensor you can find a separate website for to describe how it works. How, um, how it's connected, uh, what type of programming can talk to it. So as you, as you look for that information, wherever you find it on the net, each one of those findings can be one more link as part of your work cited, okay? Whether you use just a little bit of a site or whether you use a lot of a site, the idea with the work cited is, is for, for all of the papers that I've done for, for my master's degree, I think I must have had two or three pages, single line spacing of work cited, just because I did that amount of research in order to, to finish up any one of my master's papers. So it's, it's not uncommon for this to have, uh, you know, this page be filled up with six or seven different reference sites. So that's what I would recommend is, is in addition to the site where you've got the bulk of your, your project from, you can also look up sites on how each of the sensors uh, work, and then that will help fill this up very nicely. Okay? Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Uh, let's take a look next. And for next, we have uh, Luis. So let me go to Luis here. Do, 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 do. And Luis, uh, okay, could you also, thank you, and the chat works fine, copy, let's go here, and do 
this and share and come up here and paste control V okay automatic irrigation system using Arduino so uh, what you can do in this particular page Luis is you can put the name of the players uh, you know, who, who's doing this particular project so for example if we go home here we have in very small type but here it does specify you got Karima you got Tommy you got Josh uh, so some kind of description of, of the project there if I go here whoops that's a specific thing here let's go here uh, there was nothing else other than a big title that's fine but you want to be careful if you're going to use this as your team's um, e-portfolio to show off you don't want this much blank space you should fill it with something okay next purpose Okay, this is good. Purpose of the project is to create a system that can water plants automatically by measuring how dry the soil is. That's perfect. Hypothesis. Uh, possible to build an automatic irrigation system using an Arduino Uno and successfully grow something. Okay, understand Arduino is the name of a product. It's got to be capitalized on the A, got to be capitalized on the U and uh, fill this in, okay? Because you don't want to have this much white space with this. You can make this bigger, center it, or something. Uh, and your hypothesis, if you could expand on that, two, three sentences, make a paragraph out of it, would be great. Materials and procedure, okay. This is good. Take out this bullet point. If there's nothing that, that goes here, remove the bullet point because it looks like something was supposed to go there, but you didn't put anything there. Uh, pictures of the materials, this is great. Nice illustrations, rubber tubing, uh, plastic tubing rather. There, there, there. Oh, you're gonna do this in the yeah, milk carton, that's great. Oh, did you use an X-Acto knife on that? Yes, I did. Nice cut, very good, very precise work. What I like about this, Chase, is you've created a lid. So you can actually close it and keep the humidity uh, during the evening and not let the, that moisture disappear. Huh. Then you've got the Arduino right there. So, you know, this, this is a good looking, um, you've got a nice butcher block somewhere, pal. Yeah, that's my uh, desk that I'm currently sitting at right now. Oh, that's really nice. That's good butcher block. Nice, nice, nice. It looks like birch and it looks like oak or it looks like oak and then you got light stained and dark stained oak is there any walnut in there also uh i think it's like a mix of like different woods because it's like yeah. a ikea girton yeah it's very nice okay all right so materials you need to uh so procedure procedure okay gather materials test all parts make sure they work individually you can expand on that at the appropriate time when you get the things and you start building it, making it, it go, or, or whoever the, the builder is, uh, make that go. And then here, doo -doo -doo, diagrams, this is very good. Wire diagram. So this is a very nice diagram. Uh, I think what else could we do to this or another view? This looks good. I mean, there's, there's no criticism of this whatsoever. It looks really good. You have a big page. Maybe what I would recommend is you take your type and you move the type to one side, but use the height of this white space down the, below the image and the height of the white space above the image, but move the type over to one side and have this fill a bigger part of your white space because you're leaving a lot of white space here and it looks like it's 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 asking for more and maybe you'll fill it with more but uh, uh you're not lost just because you put a title in here for uh this particular page or these words in the sentence in here for this particular page doesn't mean it has to be on top here where 
if this is the only image you definitely want to make it bigger okay all right good image though all right video presentation you will pour it in at the appropriate time data uh, yet to be collected analysis and conclusion um, okay and then work cited okay same suggestion here as what we suggested for uh, this particular one and that is whatever sites you used for this image and for these parts coming together that certainly is one site and then you can add additional sites for each of the types of sensors and then another site for the for programming and then also so here's the thing once you get things working we want to um, add in a change of code because for many of you as these come from uh, pre-built projects uh, that that you found that, that we've approved for you to build the, the code is already written so look for ways and opportunities within the code to change a parameter uh, and sh and demonstrate that change if it's dem if it's demonstrable in your particular project now for this particular I'm talking to all of you not just not just the uh, the people who are friends who are working on um, this, this recent project the irrigation project so I'm talking about the ambient go to home the ambient temperature smart house and then also the uh, the smart house project okay so in the code will be some, the thing that controls the arduino so that when you elicit very specific changes to the sensors something happens well what happens if you change a piece of the code for a sensor where instead of this amount of light lighting up or this amount of heat you change the threshold of that light or you change the threshold of that heat and then demonstrate okay here's a quick change of code here's the upload and boom here's the result of our change of code and have that be part of your uh, of your presentation because your presentation will be done one of two ways it'll be done either through zoom or we actually get back on campus uh, and uh, we have an opportunity we we the dean is very close to working out the details for us to have the opportunity to have uh, a couple of weeks into June where you will be bringing back your kids but, uh, but also be able to to present uh, to the body and we can do this in the, the safety of our lab with proper social distancing uh, but uh, it, it'll, it'll be a great opportunity for you to set up your project as, it, as you had at home and you can bring it to the school and demonstrate it and then uh, make a change in that particular in some some um, parameter of one of the sensors and then demonstrate that that change uh, did an actual did actually cause an effect that we have a cause and an effect uh, based on the programming change that you made and it could be the easiest one is to change the threshold of when a sensor kicks in and so look look and start looking for those opportunities in the code sets that you uh, uh, are using for your projects okay any questions about that so far so we can plan on we can still plan on and this depends on on each of the teams uh, some teams depending upon the nature of the project and uh, how well you do with the parts that you receive and putting things together there's always got to be a troubleshooting period of time for things to work and in the case of the irrigation project they're cleverly going to use chia seeds because chia seeds grow the fastest uh, and will be able to to measure things so maybe there's uh, less of an opportunity to demonstrate live to your classmates but you can still do a zoom presentation showing with your e-portfolio things that have occurred along the way so what i mean to say is this if you can present via zoom and you prefer to 
present via Zoom uh, by our third week in May, which is our the week of the 20th. And we can wrap up, or the week before, in order to wrap up our e-portfolios by the third week. That's great. We can go ahead and do that. If, however, you can't, as I said, the Dean is very, very close to giving us some time into June uh, where we are allowed to, to, to come in and do the presentation and turn in all of our stuff. So we have some flexibility with respect to time in order for you to comfortably uh, complete and well, troubleshoot and then complete your projects to, to fruition, do the Zoom presentation, capture the video, record the video, and then port that video content with a link into your e-portfolio because the final thing to turn in will be the e-portfolio on the last week that we're together and your um, Grove kits as we need those for the next group of, of friends. So that's our time frame coming up and it, it will vary from one team to the other uh, because of a variety of other factors that are outside of your control. Troubleshooting is, is the main one because uh, that does take some time. If everything works according to code and wow, that's great. And, uh, but sometimes things don't and when they don't, it takes time. Any questions regarding our time frame? No, I think that should be it. I mean, that's the reason why we use the Chia Seeds, just so that we get like results instantly if yeah. we happen to not have enough time during this position. Yeah, yeah. Within days and certainly a couple weeks of of the Chia Seeds growing there, you'll you'll have some pretty uh, prodigious growth for sure. That'll make for some really nice pictures. This is day one. This is day three. This is day five, <laughs> and uh, you'll be able to demonstrate some 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 pretty good progress with the Chia Seeds, which is great. Um, so no more comments then if no more comments you know the marching plans for us moving forward so this Thursday between when and when will you call Nabil between one and two, one and, okay. two. And, and William you're scheduled to be uh, at the room 1602 at what time two o'clock and Tommy two thirty and Chase three o'clock and you will be wearing mask. face mask PPE. Yeah, your, your and PPE. optional PPE. <laughs> yes, yeah, PPE is great. Whatever you do for PPE uh, is great. Okay, now we don our gay apparel. Okay, that's great. All right, fantastic. Then uh, hopefully he will not have any hiccups on his way to Belmont, uh, nor any hiccups at Jameco, uh, nor any hiccups on the way back. But the purpose of you calling between one and two is to confirm that he is back uh, at the campus ready for you guys to make the trip to go pick things up. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, uh, if there's no other questions, then continue to progress with your e-portfolios. Uh, fill them out more in those various areas. Those people who are the managers uh, of, your, of your projects help to contribute in, in those areas where you can for uh, in, in terms of, of dialogue information that will go into the e-portfolio. So the job of the e-portfolio person is, is really to construct and put together the, the, the information onto the website, but that information can come from, certainly will come from the builder and also will come from uh, the, the, the team leader as everybody's intimately engaged in trying to make this e-portfolio the best that it can be because it's what prospective employers and uh, other professors in other schools that you'll be graduating and moving on to will be looking at. Say, so, hey, you want to show off peace? Boom. You want to make sure everybody contributes to the e-portfolio e to make sure that it is a, indeed a show off piece. All right. All right. Cool. And if there's no other questions, that's all I have for you for this evening. And uh, we'll keep in touch through Canvas. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Uh, I need to do one more thing. Get off the share and get onto the grid mode and take pictures of us. Hey, let me help put up my camera real quick. Cool. Yeah, same here. Hold on. Yeah, see, Luis.
I can join on my phone if you accept it real quick, if you need the video. Oh, uh, no, no, hey, we hear your voice. That's, that's great. Karima's there. And, uh, okay. Hey, super tech is your, is your camera not working Kel? No, no. I just, I just turned it off for a second cause I didn't want you guys to see me eating. Oh, okay. Well you can put your hamburger down or whatever. <laughs> there you I'm go. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, all right. Everybody give me one big smile. One, two, three. And Jeez. yes, Jeez. 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 all right. Good job, everybody. I will see you all in uh, Canvas and also next week. Same time, same place. All right. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Have a great Bye. evening. Bye. Bye-bye now.